think I come close. Don't worry. Get closer. He's fine. He's a good guy. Hey. Now, the deal is this. There's a lot of Cooper out there. Yes? Yes? So what this does, the other doesn't do. Ceramic. Who's aware of ceramic? You know that the, the, the nicest things I like about ceramic, besides that, is raising the bar. No, it's not raising the bar. It's the bar for non-stick. It's also that it's natural. Doesn't have uh, chemical. No cadmium, no P, FOA, PTFE, all those things that you don't really like in your food, this doesn't have. Plus, the aluminum coin does distribute the heat in a very, very nice way. But that's not the reason why I'm working with this set. The reason why I'm working with this set is because we're gonna be able to accomplish something that is not easy. When you are at home cook, there is a couple of things that freaks you out. Fish skin, always very hard to crisp, really hard. Chicken skin, eggs, flipping eggs, I hate to do the dishes. I hate to do the dishes. I hate to do the dishes so much that I'd rather shoot my food off than actually clean it. I'd rather buy them new. Get in the car, go to the grocery store, whatever it is, buy the fish with skin on. That's important things. Put the fish in it and we forget about it. We let it there now. In a normal scenario, this is gonna stick. By now, it would be already glued to the pan. Very hard. And, and the one thing that makes me laugh is that many people out there, they use no stick and they still put like 10 coating spray, lots of butter, make sure that it really doesn't stick. And that shouldn't happen because you pay for something that the word itself, no stick, should be a statement, right? Cheese, every no stick pan, every stainless steel, every cast iron, hate cheese. You know why? Because cheese melt and stick to the bottom. So the good news about cut, the good news about ceramic is that ceramic love cheese. Love it. I mean, he's happy when we see the cheese. Because the coating underneath, the aluminum coin, is so thick that the heat is evenly distributed and the cheese melts. And thanks to this kind of surface, does not stick. Let me show you something. That's a saute pan over there, okay? There is nothing. There is no pan coating. There is no spray. There is nothing. I have Parmesan cheese right here. Normally, when you melt Parmesan cheese, if you're smart, you use silicon mount. Because silicon doesn't stick, but who cooks with silicon? That's not, that's not right. So let's melt this one, and let's see what happens. I'm not gonna touch it, okay? Now, check this fish out. You see the fish? Do you see it? Check the fish, I'm moving, look at it. It's going around the pan. I'm not touching it, I haven't even used kitchen utensils. This is, are you agree that this is it, more than, this is like a stupid amount of cheese, <laughs> right? Inside, all of it. Inside all of it. These are some cheesy eggs, look at that. That's more than what I would love to eat, actually. We put it here. Now, we get the eggs inside there. And we kind of move these a little bit for a few seconds. And we leave it there. You see the partition right here? Can you see that? Now, I didn't touch it. So I didn't put spray, I didn't put that. Check out the fish. You ready for this, guys? You gotta be ready for this. This ceramic does sear as good as cast iron with one simple difference. Two, three, three difference, sorry. No, three. I always start with one, but then I think about more stuff and I add as I go. Nice and crisp skin, now the home cook is safe. And difference from cast iron, this is ready to go for the next one. You don't have to season anything, you don't have to rub anything, you don't have to dry anything. A wet towel, it's all you need. Now, you put a little oil. Do you know when you do summertime, you're barbecuing, you're trying to see your vegetable, tomato. Did you ever barbecue a tomato? It's impossible to char, because unless you don't put it in the oven and you wait for it to burn, it doesn't char, because it sticks to the surface and then you pop it out, and the nice char is there, and you have a soggy veggie right here in your hand that is losing all, you know. So, let's char some tomato right here. Check this out. You ready, guys, for this? Oh. oh. 
Do that again. Oh. And there is cheese inside. So now our eggs uh, is actually nice and crisp. Now, the good news is that not even stuff like tomato, they burn. And the more you leave them here, the more you can start and sear them. Because the tomato is going to char without without coming off, without peeling off. What I like about it, think about it from a chef's standpoint of view, right? White inside. You see what's going on. You see when the food is cooking. What's up with gray, black, uh, tan, uh, cappuccino color, light blue, they're pretty. But this is made to enhance your cooking experience. Well, are you with me that cheese is a nasty, nasty, nasty ingredient in any cookware? Yeah. Yes? That's yeah. Parmesan cheese. Same things. Done.